Hey, welcome to Hack and Build. Today I'm going to show you a really simple technique for milling down short logs on a table saw using just a few hand tools. Let's take a look. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pick a line here where it's already splitting and split this up. So I'll just start here because there's a nice uh, split already coming along. I'm just going to go all the way across. I'm just trying to get enough of a, a line started so that I can get my splitting wedge in and then drive it apart. That's already splitting, so I may not even need the splitting wedge. So I've just got a basic splitting wedge and a four pound sledge. I'm just gonna finish the job off here. So now what I'm going to do is just square up these two edges here so it'll give something uh, flat for it to ride along against the fence on the table saw. And I'm just going to use this block plane here. It's just a simple uh, cheap block plane. I actually got this one for free and just sharpened it up. It's going to work fine. <laughs> down I'm happy with it it's probably good for that side Take a look here. So now we've got kind of squared up here on the sides, but it's still wobbly. So what I'm going to do is I could either take some material off this, try to get it evened up, or what I could do is shim it with something. So once I have the uh, full piece here, it still rocks back and forth a little bit. That's Really probably okay. Uh, if you had a, a, a piece that was a little tippier, then what you could do is uh, shim it up. And I'll just demonstrate how I would do that. I've got just a regular shim here and then a little block of wood that uh, it fits under the gap. I've already tested this out. And that's gonna go about to there. And I'll just uh, tack these in with some hot glue and uh, see what we get. Well, it's really perfectly flat all the way across. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to cut it. And here are the final results. The surface here is a little rough, but that'll clean up really nicely with the block plane. Or you could just go ahead and you know, run another pass on the table saw and then come back and do a finishing pass on this side. As for this one, you got a couple different options here. You could put this into the vise and, and get this this part knocked down with the black plane so that you could run it, you could run thin strips like this. You know, really just keep applying the same um, techniques depending on how you want to break down the stock. These strips here, these are really easy to remove with just a sharp chisel, so let me show you that. So here's another piece I've got on here. It's on there really solid, but this is really easy to remove, like I said, with the sharp chisel. You just come in, pry it off, and then this stuff will, this comes off pretty easy, these, this glue. Done. And this isn't your finished surface anyway, so if you got a few marks here, no big deal really. Now let's take a look at the finished results. Here's some stock that I 
created using the same process. I'm going to be using this for a set of knives, actually a set of carving knives, which is video I'm working on now that'll be coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, this came out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with the results here. Obviously it's not, you know, this could be run through the planer to get it uh, uh, completely flat and whatnot, but this is in the state that's uh, suitable for the project that I'm working on. Hope you enjoyed this video and as always, subscribe for more hacks and builds and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.